guys it's sandy here if you're new here i am a south african beauty and lifestyle youtuber and i try to post new videos every week so do make sure to subscribe if you aren't and i have finally returned with another manga haul video it's not really a haul because i didn't buy all these things at once i kind of bought it over the last six months since i last posted a manga haul video this box is full right now i don't know if you can see this box is literally full since then this is all the stuff i've gotten it's not from take a lot i just put it in a take a lot box usually i sit in front of my manga shelf so i only brought like the 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 manga that i want to show you with me please interact with me down below in the comments you guys who watch my anime, manga, even K-pop, K-drama type of content, you guys are my favorite. Don't tell anyone else. Make sure you watch the other manga haul videos so you can get an idea of like what I already have and stuff if you're interested or whatever. If you have any questions, please comment below. I do respond. Unless you ask something stupid, then I don't respond. Let's start off with a new series that I started collecting recently. The Water Dragon's Bride. And I bought Volume 2 and Volume 3 from Loot. They didn't have stock of Volume 1, so I read Volume 1 online. And then Volume 2, Volume 3. I've read this already. I've really been loving it. It is a shoujo um, romance type of vibe. The guy who is the water god, as you can guess from the name of this manga series, is so fine. The series is about a modern day girl. She's really young, maybe like five or six, and she's with her parents and then all of a sudden she falls into like this pond of water in their backyard of their house and she gets teleported into this other weird world and well it's like a normal world but just like without technology if i could say and when she's transported to this other world she meets this little boy who finds her and they like become little friends um, and then this boy takes this girl home to the village that he's from and this boy's mother like <laughs> instantly doesn't like this girl and the mother was like let's sacrifice this girl to the water god because every year they do like this ritual where they sacrifice people to the water god <laughs> so they sacrifice this girl by going uh, into a lake and um usually the girls they would throw in the lake would just die but then the water god this particular time saved this girl um, read it online if you don't want to collect the the physical thing it's quite a short ish read there's only 11 volumes that's why i thought it'd be fun to collect this is one piece aces story volume 2 now this isn't even a manga it's a novel with words this actually hasn't been animated yet in the series and i feel like this is going to become a movie one day soon after an undersea tangle with mermaids and fishmen portuguese d ace leads his spade pirates crew to the new world a place where pirates masters and rookies battle for territory and treasure as he flees memories of his secret past ace seeks pirating infamy so powerful it will change the world order to achieve his goal he sets his sights on one of the strongest fleets in the ocean the white beard pirates ruled over by dread pirate white beard the strongest man in the world so i think it's about his time like when he was like part of the spade pirates to the time he was with the white beard pirates type of thing i don't have volume one i thought i could get volume one online but it's been out of stock for such a long time i bought this at bargain books it wasn't too expensive i think it's like 120 or something but next i have something quite exciting Oh, well, it's exciting for me. But it's one of the first manga series that I ever actually fully completed collecting. Frick, was it expensive and did it take me a long time? And I bought like everything individually. And this is all 12 volumes of Daytime Shooting Star. In my last video, I only had like four volumes, but now I have all 12. And I bought these from in store in bargain books i ordered online from exclusive books i bought from loot i basically scuttled all over for all these <laughs> volumes some volumes were like 120 some were 150 some were like 210 i think one volume was like 
280. Have a close look at the top of these books. You'll see all the tabs I made for all of like my favorite parts or notable parts in this manga series. Um, I really really did enjoy reading this it's about this like school girl and she has a, a crush on her teacher that is so fine like I would have a crush on that man so yeah now obviously they can't get into a relationship for all sorts of reasons but they kind of was feelings there but then you know they had to work through that situation and she ends up falling in love with one of her other classmates which is a much more appropriate match that is on the floor now. So lots of nice twists and turns. So I really, really did enjoy it and definitely see myself re-reading it again. Next up, I have Dawn of the Dawn, um, volume 11, 13, and 20. It is something that I have been collecting. I have quite a few volumes already, but these were the ones that I just added to my collection. And I think I ordered all of these from Loot. Like every time I place an order for like some other manga, I'll add like one volume of Yona of the Dawn to my cart just so I can kind of work on finish completing the collection. It's basically about this princess who lived a very nice spoiled life, if I could say. Um, and then one day her father gets murdered by the person that she had a crush or that she thought she was in love with since she was a child, um, her best friend, if I could say. And then her whole world was turned around because this guy also wanted to kill her. So she ran away with her trusted bodyguard, who is also so fine. That's when their whole adventure and whatnot starts because she's trying to, you know, um, rebuild the empire and retake her position. I think it's really really good it's not your typical romance manga like at all I mean the romance compared to everything else is like greatly imbalanced Shoujo is um, main female lead and Shonin main male lead targeting younger audiences right um, an alternative to Shoujo would be um, Jose, which is main female character um, targeted to an older female audience <laughs> and then an alternative to shonen would be seinen <laughs> seinen which is targeted at an older male audience with a main male character so that's how you know if you find yourself getting bored of reading and watching shoujo if you're a female try reading jose you might really enjoy that i myself now at my age i devil into a lot of jose but um it's not as popular as shoujo there's a lot more shoujos out there but you can find some good shoujos for your age range even next i have this wonderful standalone manga that i bought i absolutely love this it's called Haru's Curse. Two or three volumes into one. I'm currently following a manga by the same mangaka. This girl who's the daughter of like a Yakuza boss and this other guy who's like the son of a rival mafia. This guy is a real delinquent. That man is dangerous. He's like so toxic as well. Now what Haru's Curse is about is this girl's sister was engaged to this guy and then the sister passed away because of a sudden illness both of them now have these wounds because of the sister's passing this girl tells the sister's fiance um take me out to all of the places that you went to with my sister and it's kind of a way for both of them to heal i'm so bad at describing these things man Yo. Next up, I have addition to my shortcake, shortcake collection. I have volume 2, 3, and 8. I actually really, really, really regret collecting this. I'm actually looking to sell all the volumes that I have. I have quite a few volumes now. Um, a school romance. But I don't know. I just never got to invest into it. Something about it that didn't catch me, but it could catch you. Because this is a very popular like series that a lot of people who collect manga do collect but it just never clicked with me um but it's about this school girl and also about like her crushes and how her relationships fall but she just has a crush on like her classmate okay next up i have i hear the sun spark and this is about a friendship 
between two college students. This one guy is partially deaf, been looking for a translator for his university notes and things. So this other guy applies and it's basically like friendship and communication between these two characters. It was okay. It was okay. I got volume seven of Ren and the Grey World. I already have volume one, three, six, and now seven. 69 Rand Lamau from Bargain Books. In the world, the world in the story is like magic is a thing, right? And this girl's mother is like a really powerful witch. This little girl, you know, she wants to be like a mom type of thing. And she has these pair of shoes. And when she puts the shoes on, she can transform into like this older girl like an older version of herself that's like very pretty and stuff and i think she gets like magical powers as well when she transforms into like the older version of herself art style gorgeous i really want to collect the other volumes as well but i'm gonna have to order it online hey i have so much other stuff i want and now i need to collect this and it's like how much do i love ran in the gray world that i want to buy those volumes you know hey Priorities is a thing. Well, next up, I have this ma manga. It's called Yakuza Lover. It actually came wrapped in plastic. If you know, you know. I didn't know that it was going to be one of those, you know. But anyway. <laughs> Basically, this college student is like out one night with her friend and finds herself in a little bit of trouble when she's <clears throat> at a club, I think. And a guy that like shows up to this club and I think helps out of the situation is like this Yakuza boss. Like he's quite fine, I don't know if he's my type but he's kind of fine. The artwork is very like old school if I could say, even though it's a new manga like it's still currently airing. Um, they kind of end up falling for each other from that encounter but then like they know they shouldn't be together because like it's freak dangerous like he's a Yakuza boss, he's like one of the biggest Yakuza bosses. Something about this didn't capture me as much as I would like. I don't know if I'm going to pick up volume two. It's called That Blue Sky Feeling. And I bought both of these volumes from Exclusive Books. They were 185 Rand each. I'm currently reading volume one. You can see I have my little bookmark here. My friend actually gave this to me for my birthday. How absolutely stunning is this? There's the little um, Wings of Freedom from Attack on Titan in there. From a little business called Teapot Jewelry and Things. You can request custom order for like anime related bookmarks and things. I also got a, a little keychain with Levi Ackerman on that I keep on my car keys. When Noshiro transfers to a new school, he meets Sanada, a loner who doesn't seem to have friends or want any. The other kids whisper that Sanada keeps to himself because he's secretly gay, but rather than scare Noshiro away, the rumors only makes him more interested. He sets out on a campaign to win over the surly um, Sanada embarking on a surprising friendship. So yeah. Friendship vibes, understanding, communicating, um, while being young, while being in school type of thing. So very different type of read for me. So what I'll do is I'll just pan over to a video showing you what my bookshelf currently looks like. Still need to kind of reorganize it, but just so you have a full picture of everything that I have in my collection so far. I'm always looking to grow and expand it, but it is a slow process, especially in South Africa, because you need to remember manga is freak expensive. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, leave a like. Don't forget to follow my socials, which will be linked down below in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!